Uh, the reason I tell you to get familiar with this beautiful painting is because you will soon see it at Sky Harbor International Airport. I have the artist right beside me here. So congratulations on that. That's oh, thank amazing. You. Thank you. Tell me how that happens. Um, through Arizona Artist uh, Guild, they had you submit three okay. paintings, and then there's over 500 entries, and then I was one that was chosen. That's that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Because we actually met at the uh, Shimmer Furry Funds uh, event, and there's so many great pieces that you create, and a lot of them are based on your very own pets. Like, you know, if you wanted to commission a piece about your pet, we what tell you the personality, and then you just go from there. Exactly, and they and then um, tell me something about the, the pet, and then the colors that you like and send a photo from the shoulders up and I always wanted to make my painting so you'd recognize that it was a jewels so I do pink and yellow eyes curly Q eyebrows curly Q nose um, any, anything that needs a curly Q and then curly Q background and they're made out of acrylic ink and a splash of sequins. See, and that's the thing, Jules, because when you look at them, you know that they're your pieces because they do have that kind of similar feel, but also because you just said you want people to smile. You want yes. fun in there. So it, obviously it's fun for you as well, but does the, the fun in the photo actually come from the excitement that you know people show you that they feel for their pets or when you get to know the pet themselves? Oh, exactly. Just and. How I usually explain what what the, the pet is feeling is the humorous title that I do up the side of the canvas and over the top, mm -hmm. and the the eyes are never looking straight ahead. They're either looking up, down, ah. or sideways. Now, why is that? Um, just because you never know what they're thinking. It just <laughs> adds another piece of humor to it. That much is true, I will tell you. Um, so, Jules, tell me about this book as well, Getting Your Magic Back. Thanks. Which um, is such a good message, just even in the title. <laughs> well, thank you. It's about pushing through life's transitions, and I did it handwritten because that I felt, you know, it's from my heart. Aww. And um, used abstract paintings because I thought they exuded more of the emotion. And it's only two lines per page because I just want something simple that you can just read and just feel better at the end. Oh and so. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so thank you. I also want to point out though, because you know I'm mean, I'm in love with your pet portraits. Oh, thank you. But you do so much more. I mean, as Scott's showing us, you do all kinds of I mean, like food, which is also one of my favorite things, and uh, all, all kinds of fruit and stuff. Yes, I um, started. I did a challenge, and then I I usually do whimsical art, but for some reason it took on a uh, life of its own, and I do them with colored pencils, and they became very realistic. But I do the curly cue in the background, so you still know it's a jewels. And I would do commission pieces on that also. Yeah, so that's another thing. But if you, if you don't want to commission a piece, or you know, you can also buy something like this, where you already have everything made, exactly. and you just like the feel of it. So we get that. We can get what cards? Is it cards, calendars, prints, um, G clays? I have them in some shops, um, and I and you can also go to my website too. So what's been your favorite project that you've been working on? You were working oh. with Shimmer, you're working with the uh, airport, you have a book, obviously you have all of these great uh, portraits and, and you work with so many kind and fun people who want to give back, so what's That's been your awesome. favorite part? Well, most recently, I, I don't know where this is going to lead, but I've been writing these um, quirky stories and um, like this one's a shoe and I always name them. And um, this one is about, um, let's see, her name's Barbara Dorothea, also known as Bunny, who wants to impress her 16-year-old daughter, so she wears blue lipstick. Oh, and this is that's a, funny. <laughs> this is a rescue dog from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. Um, this is about hairstyles. I also had done some, have done some stories about Ted's Cocktail Lounge. And I put them on Instagram, and people from all over the world are getting involved in these and saying, what's next? What's next? And it's so funny to hear the, their comments about the stories. Oh. Let me ask you really quickly, what would you suggest? Because it seems like once you open the door for your creativity, it just kind of takes on a life of its own. Is that true? Exactly. Exactly. So perfect. Find, uh, tell me where we can find you online so we can get these uh, pieces. Um, the book is gettingyourmagicback.com, and it's also at a couple stores, um, Paper Place and Shimmer. And my art is at uh, JulesGissler.com, and also uh, I've got right on uh, Paper Place Tempe Art Center. Amazing. We'll go online <laughs> and we'll find you, and then we'll just track you down. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks so much, and congratulations. Oh, thanks so much.